Hello once again and welcome to economics class and today we are going to look at a supply function. We are going to continue continue our discussion on the theory of supply. Today we are looking at supply function. Okay, when we did demand function, we did a lot of explanations. All right, so if you have listened to that explanation, then we are not going to what repeat the same. When it comes to supply function, okay, we're just going to what rule, all right. Uh, do not forget that this lecture, this series, this tutorials brought to you by the OT School Jam CBT Practice app. Okay, say for example, you have made up your mind to pass your jump exam at once. It means that you must have that app on your phone. Okay, please make sure that you download it. We'll talk about the app in a moment. Let us see a question from the O3 School Jam CBT app. This is a jump pass question 2014, number 13. 2014 number 13 that borders on supply function it says given the supply function p is equal to 1 over 4 into qs plus 10 and p is equal to 10 naira what is quantity supplied what is qs all right so we'll come back to this question and many more at the end of the class and not be and not before because at all three schools we believe in giving you value first. Let us teach you first. Once we have taught you, answering question will be the least of your problems. All right? And of course, uh, do ensure you download the application, the Autodesk School Jump app, as everything you need to succeed in your exam, as lecture notes, okay? It has a, a classroom feature that has lecture notes structured according to the Jam syllabus, so you don't need to buy textbooks. It has all the past questions that you need for your exam, all right? And of course, uh, in the practice for UTM, Section, you see all the past question there and then also there's the jam syllabus is present in the classroom all right so you don't need to go and be looking for jam syllabus up and down then this question search feature then there's a mock utme challenge that will conduct for all students that are writing jam for this year every saturday every saturday you after you have read for a week you must come to the app to participate in the mock exam in that mock exam you get this to jam pass question jam likely exam questions aside all of that you familiarize yourself with how Jam set that question, and you'll be seeing your result release. If you score 180, if you score 200, if you score 500, if you score 700 over 400, you are going to see your result. Why? Okay? Shown exactly the way Jam shows it. So you will not be scared when they say Jam has released results. That will make you to be able to track your, pro your progress or your preparation towards the main Jam exam. So please, all of these many features are more for a price less than less than the price of rice and chicken in a good restaurant. So please do not be stingy to yourself. Do not be stingy to your future. Okay? And sure, get the app. Activate it. If you need the activation key, just uh, make the payment. Send your receipts to this number on WhatsApp. You get the activation key. Or just message this number and say, how do I activate? And then what will show you how to activate. If you have not downloaded the app, also send a message to this number on WhatsApp. I want to download your O3D Schools Jam app. Okay, this number will assist you. If you need the app for your laptop, also or for your computer system, send a message on WhatsApp on that same number. All right, zero nine one two one five one five two four six. So let us look at the supply function very quickly. All right. So we already know that that the quantity supplied is a function of price. So most times we say quantity supplied QS. Okay, is a function. Of what of price, okay, and of course, uh, in this case, you, you are very, 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 very obviously you see that what that the, that the uh, quantity supply is dependent on the what on the price. This means that what that the quantity supplied, okay, is the independent what variable, okay. Quantity supplied is the independent variable. Okay, it is dependent on what on the price. That's why the price is the what is the dependent what variable. Okay, all right. So the price is the dependent variable. The quantity supplied is the independent what variable. All right, because what the quantity supplied, okay, is a function of what of the price. Okay, it is the price according to the law of supply that determines the quantity that is what supplied. The higher the price of a commodity, the higher the quantity supply. And the lower the price of a commodity, commodity, the lower the quantity was supplied. That means that what quantity supply highly depends on the what on the price of a commodity. All right. So if I've known that, you have known what almost everything. Okay. So the supply function is given, of course, by Q. Okay. 
by QS. QS, which is constantly supplied, is equal to what now? C plus uh, DP. Okay, C plus DP. This is almost similar, okay, in form as what? As uh, the demand word function. Okay, so the only difference here is that what we are using what C and what and D. Why in the demand we are using what A plus what B what P. Okay, so uh, you can also use A plus BP here. Yeah. Okay, you can also use K and J. You can use any letter, any variable that you love that you say, ah, for my family, now only M1, anything we they use, we can use it. The only reason why we're not using A and B here again, because we just want to show what a little bit of distinction. We just want to show a little bit of what of difference, okay? But you can use any variable. So please, if you have not for any reason like this video, what I'm doing is very wrong. If I've, in fact, some of you watch the video, you will not share. Okay, I do want that student to see the video. I do want them to pass. I'll be it's passing majorly made for you to, to pass along your org. Some of you say, my early my family, if you pass exam, or no degree, please click on the share button, click on the like button, subscribe to the channel, okay? Help us to grow. Help other students to want to learn, all right? Thank you so very much as you do so. Now, this is what the function QS, where QS, where QS, of course, is what? Is the quantity supplied, okay? And then, of course, P is what? Is the prime okay? C of course is what the intercept, intercept okay on the price axis okay, and then of course D of course is what is the is the gradient or the slope. All right. So what 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 have you noticed? What noted that what that the that the supply function okay is what it has what a positive or slope. All right. The supply function has a positive slope as you can see from what from our supply curve we said that what once if if price is here okay let's say. Price goes to what to P1, for example, the quantity supply what let's say is here. Okay, if it goes to P2, all right, quantity supply what also what also what increase, all right. So Q2, all right. So as you can see, the, the graph is always what positively what slope is slope what upwards positively. Okay, it's a positive what slope. It slopes upward from left. This is your left to the what to the right, all right. Okay, so now this also shows us or tells us some certain what things. Okay, so when um, when suppliers increase what supply, all right, when they increase the supply because what uh, price is increasing, when price is increasing, they will increase supply. Why do they do that? They do that because they know that well, people will see what well, people will still buy, will still buy even if what the price is what is high. So when the price is what is high, they will increase what supply. There's an incentive, incentive. Okay, to what? To our ability what? to supply more when the price is what is high. A supplier or a producer what will supply more when the price is what is high. All right? And when it is low, of course, you want to supply what less. Okay? So now, a company may be producing many, many products. Okay? A company may be producing, let's say, let us say, for example, a company produces a marker. This marker we use in writing. The same company produces, let's say, me, uh, let us say, uh, uh, okay, let us say chalk. Okay, the same company, let's say, produces, let us look for things, let's, let's say uh, textbooks. Okay, and the demand for textbook became very, very, the demand for market became very, very high. Okay, people are not buying chalk. Okay, people are not buying, people are buying textbook, but they are not buying as much, they are not selling as much textbook as they are selling marker. Okay, so they may decide to what? Because, and maybe the price of marker goes up. They may decide to want to forego all of these ones, okay? And what it will signal to the producer that well that buyers want more of marker, be producing marker, okay? Maybe there are teachers that are already put the whole of textbook in their head, okay? So they are not buying students are not buying textbook again because they are well taught in schools, okay? But marker they need marker to write on the board. The teachers need marker to write on the board. So it will signal to the what to the company, to the producers or to the suppliers that what that they should what produce more of markers. That is where that profit will be coming from, okay? And if, let's say, the price of marker is even increasing, that will even, that will even further help to, to fuel their, what, their, their incentive to, what, to produce what more, okay? So that is what the supply what function. Quantity supplied is equal to C plus DP, C plus DP, okay? Where the quantity supplied is the, uh, the, the, the independent variable 
while the price is what is the dependent variable because the quantity supply is a function of the price. Very, very easy. Easy as A, B, C. Very easy as A, B, C. Okay, so what other things is just for us to also still learn? Uh, I don't think there's any other thing. So right now, I'm going to go to the O2School Jump app. We do not want to waste time talking about supply function, okay? So let's go to the O2School Jump app. Answer the question we have before us. I will give you assignments that you want to take home, okay? So let us see the question before us. The question before us from the app, all right? So this is a 2014 question number 13 that we read out before. We said, or uh, the question said rather, that the given the supply function, we're given that the supply function, okay, P is equal to 1 over 4, QS plus 10, okay? And then they say what? P, okay? And P is what? 10 Naira, okay? So P is 10 Naira. This is the supply function, okay? So what, what are they asking us to find? They say, what is QS? We're looking for the quantity supply, okay? When price is what? Is 10 Naira. All right, so now let us go ahead. Since we know price of 10 era, just for us to impute what 10 era into what this. All right, so let us impute 10 era. I'm going to have 10 era is equals to 1 over 4 into what now? QS plus what? Plus 10. All right, so we need to what? What do you do? That means your knowledge of mathematics has to come into play here. If you know no math, hmm. so you need mathematics. Okay, as an economic student, you need to be sound in mathematics. All right. It's not what a joking matter. All right. So that's why you need to follow our math tutorials back to back. Follow them back to back. They have been well taught. All topics have been well elucidated there. All right. So now we're looking for QS. So what do we do now? Let us, uh, that means you can, hope you know we can rewrite this. We can write this to be one into QS plus 10 all over four. I just want to write it out well so that some people will see it very well. So we can now cross multiply here. Yeah? If we cross multiply, it will now be what? 4 times 10. Okay? And then we can make this one over 1 so that we can cross multiply here. So now, uh, if 1 multiplies this bracket, you see, it will still remain this one. If 1 now still multiply everything, it will still remain 1. So let's say we are doing this time this first. So I'm going to have what? QS plus 10 is equal to 4 times 10. You get it now. Okay? So now, QS plus 10 is equal to 4 times 10 is what? 40. 4 times 1, 4, 4 times 10, 40. You must know your timetable. Then what do you do? Let's make Q as the subject of the formula. We have taught subject of formula. That means 10 is coming to this side. We have 40 minus what, 10. So give us what, 30. Okay, quantity supplied is what? Is 30. 30 units. 30 units. Okay, let us see the option. Option A says 15, B says 50, C say 30, D say 20. Okay, correct answer is what is 30 units. Okay, so now I'm going to give you what an assignment. Okay, make sure you what you do it and make sure you comment, comment the, the answer. Okay, comment the answer, comment the answer on what on this what video. Okay, below this video, make sure you drop the comment. Let us see that question. I wrote it out. All right, let us see. Uh, we have a question here. Uh, let's make this class fast so that we we we'll finish on time. Okay. Okay. After the assignment, we're actually done. Okay. So now let us see a question. Uh, say what? Uh, given the supply function uh, P is equal to 1 over 2 QS plus 2. Okay. Uh, at what price? At what price? Will a trader be ready to sell its oranges? Okay, okay. So, given the supply function for oranges, okay, P is equals one over two QS. Let me make this capital because you see some people that say, "Hey, where is small letter QS doing there?" Let's make it capital QS. Okay, plus two. At what price will the trader be ready to sell its oranges? Okay. So now we're looking for what price there. Okay, we're looking for price. Let's see number two. Uh, if P is equal to 1 over 2 into QS plus 15, what is QS at 9 Naira? Okay, so please, I'll show you what to do. What this, this is what your 
assignments. Okay, these two, they are your assignments. Please take them home, answer them, comment the answer in the comment section, and I'll see you in the next episode. Thank you for joining me.